Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. This is Chuck. Today we are shooting the Sig Sauer Elite Hunter tipped controlled expansion tip 140 grain out of the 270 Winchester. So here's the box. According to the box it has a pretty good ballistic coefficient of 0.508 and 2950 for 2705 on the numbers there. Here is the round. You've seen this in 6.5 Creedmoor and 30 odd 6 on the channel. And is a coated copper bullet with a lead core and a tip, controlled expanding, nickel cased for reliable feeding. We are going to shoot it out of the Thompson Center TC Compass 22 inch threaded barrel. Good little rifle. Let's get out to the range, chronograph first, and then we're going to do penetration test. Here we are, Thompson Center Compass 270, six hour, 140 grain, controlled expansion bullets. We're going to see what they do over the chronograph. Let's see, here we go. I'm going to kneel down here, turn this down to three power. Got 2998. Pretty dark out here. Filming at the last light here. 2909. 2913. The chronographs turn just a little bit. 2928. And 29.33. So we had that high flyer at the beginning of the first shot, and the rest of them were in the low 29s. The rest of them were consistent. So got to get your powder charges consistent there, Sig. But other than that, it's good ammo. Let's see what it does in the add-up slide, all the numbers, and then we'll do the penetration test. So here is our add-up slide. You can see that the Thompson Center Compass did a pretty decent job here. 29.36.2 is the average, just slightly below box on the velocity. However, the standard deviation was kind of horrible. The average muzzle energy was 2,680. Not too bad. Here we are, 270, 140 grain, six hour controlled expansion. Everybody wanted to see this. So here we are, 270, six hour controlled expansion rounds. Here we go. So it looks like we didn't capture this bullet. So I hit it, the ribs right here in the, the thick part of the ribs, right just where I was aiming. I knew it was aiming a little high, so I aimed right there and it hit right where I wanted to, went right through the cantaloupe and right through this jug. And then it started deflecting through this jug and the second jug, it just went right across. It missed the third jug completely, missed the fourth jug. And we have a bullet hole here and a core of a bullet, or the jacket of the bullet, is in this this jug here. So it hit, and it hit dead center. That was a good shot, wasn't it? It wasn't me. It, that bullet started deflecting, which is not good. You want straight line penetration. Otherwise, where you put your shot and where your shot goes are two different things. Shot placement's most important, but if your shot doesn't go there after you place it, that's not a good thing, Sig. So it could have hit bone. But just like the 30 odd six, we got a cup and core right there. That's the 270 six hour ammo. All right, we're back here at the house with the ammunition here from SIG. 140 grain, 270 controlled expansion. Let's see how much the bullet weighs. 
74.1, so barely over 50% in weight retention. Not real good there, Sig. And maximum expansion here. It's like at its widest point, 544. So that is two of these that we've had jacket separate, the 270 and the 30 odd six. The 65 Creedmoor did not jacket separate. I think this would be decent deer hunting ammo, but I probably wouldn't use it on anything much bigger. It would probably do the job on caribou as well. Black bear are tougher than caribou. I don't know about black bear. I definitely wouldn't use it on moose or elk or brown bear. If you like this ammo, put it in the comments. What would you use it for? What do you like about it? I've heard it's very accurate. I did not do three shot group testing because that just varies from rifle to rifle to shooter to shooter so much. But in 30 odd six, my buddy says it's his most accurate round. But what you think in the comments? Like, share, subscribe, support us on Patreon. God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range.